The speed of being able to repair it quickly is important to just keep the ball rolling. Like instead of having, you know, the excavator stand down for three hours where you've got it up and going within the hour, the boys are, you know, back crushing. The machines aren't standing down, gravel's being made, you know, everything's productive. My name's Adam Fraser. Um, I'm looking after all the plant and trucks in the maintenance side. This business started uh, 30 years ago next year um, from just a backhoe truck and excavator and it's grown to yeah, a fleet of cat machines, quarry gear, um, 10 truck and dogs, floats. We service all of our own stuff. Um, we do a lot of our own welding and repairs and tyres and we do the whole lot. Well now we have the trailer and we do all our own hoses. We just take it everywhere with us. If we go out on site and do just a service and we see a hose, well we just do it. It's preventive maintenance and you know because both mechanics we're in a ute each so yeah we just hook it up and go. Then it's with us. We could be servicing one machine at one end of town and then one of the boys ring and said they've blown a hose out on a farm where we just go and do it. Like but the beauty of it being a trailer is anyone can tow it. And, you know, most of the guys here are pretty mechanically minded. They can make a hose just from some simple training. So you know, if we're not around and the trailer's here in the shed, well, they can bring a hose back, make it, and get on with the job. So yeah, it's just the utility of it is just great being able to just make a hose when you're ready to go. We use the local NZ franchisee in, in Albury um, and his service was second to none but you know he was that busy doing his, looking after his other customers that he was sometimes hard to get. Um, yeah it was just, it's just a time thing you know. Between two to three hours would be probably standard sort of wait times depending where the hose doctor was and most of the time we would go to the machine as mechanics and pull the hose off anyway and then he'd just come and make it and be gone so it just made sense and we worked done the figures and could justify it quite reasonably to have the trailer and yeah just do it all ourselves we can get things going you know and majority of our breakdowns before probably was hoses you know like we've done a lot of preventive maintenance with our hoses and we haven't had as many blowing I suppose in the last six months so uh, if they do you know we're there within the hour we're not waiting we just do the hose and this machine's back home they're not having to shuffle machines or move another machine in because that one's down you know it's that side of the hose repair is is good yeah it's just another piece of plant that I see that you know helps the the whole business I guess you know it's it's very versatile, anyone can tow it um, and we can just make hoses when we need. It's set out well, um, you know, all the fittings are easily identifiable, um, you know, the, the crimping side's straightforward, we haven't had any issues with it running out of power or, you know, the reels, the reels are good, um, plenty of storage, we've sort of stocked more hose in the trail than we initially had just so we've got it uh, yeah and we've and we've had it off road quite a lot like the pine forest up in Shelley it's all dirt rock road so you know, it's it's held up good Josh brought it out to us and he probably trained for us to start with and most of the guys are either machine operators or truck drivers and you know they're mechanically minded it's it's not hard you know a bit of um, tuition and the boys are away we haven't had any issues with um, the hose or the product so far, so yeah, it's all good. And we've made quite a few hoses. When we order um, in the mornings, we should see, you know, the, the most common fittings the next day. But if it's something you have in the ordinary, it's, you know, two, three days maybe out of Queensland. Yeah, freight's generally really good. And that was a big thing for us going into getting the trailer is being able to restock quickly. We'll just scan um, for a fitting or to reorder and if it's hose, the specific hose that we need, we'll look it up in the Type M book or 
we just type in the part number that's on the fitting in the app and you know just add it to cart and the way it goes it's done. If we're setting up a new tipper or something, then usually we'd get the NZ or Pertec guy out to come and rehose or to build the trailer or we just do it. We've got the, the tooling and hoses to be able to do it and we can run a hose from front to back of the trailer or the truck and set it up with our couplers and it's done. You know. Oscar touches base and pretty often just to see how things are tracking and Josh is, if you can't get him, he always wings back. Um, yeah. So everyone's contactable and family oriented business is much like our own. So oh, I definitely would recommend it. You know, if if there's um, similar companies or that are, are using outside um, hose fitters and hose repairers to to look to crunch the numbers and and if it's justifiable, then, then do it. I think it's yeah, it's just so much easier and you know you can make hoses on site.